It's week four of remote learning. We are on a roll, week four. And it's so good to see you here. May I hear a courteous? Audience, very nicely done. Raise your hand if you said audience. Raise your hand if you raised your hand. Pretty good, pretty good. Hey, you might want to use everybody get quiet when you're trying to do your projects at home. It sounds like some of you are, have a lot of chaos at your house uh, with those broadcasts. But anyway, I've been really enjoying your broadcasts. And of course, your stage, your Presidian stages were wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. But this week, week four, you are going to have four choices. How about that? Now, a choice is just that. It means you get to pick one of the four choices. One of the four choices, okay? Choice number one, shadow puppets. You're going to make a shadow puppet screen with tissue paper or a sheet and notice I have direct light on me now for effect. And see when I move my hand, see it makes a shadow. Okay, so what you're going to do is put direct light on the back of a sheet or tissue paper. Of course, you'll have to hang the structure somehow. But, uh, and then you are behind the screen along with the light on that side of the screen. And you'll be using your hand or you can make shadow puppets. That is choice number one. And the only technology you'll need to do is turn on the light and, of course, watch the YouTube video that I'm going to post that comes on after this video. I'm on how to do it. And then you can either video by choice or simply take pictures of your shadow puppets and your screen. Okay? So uh, that will be a low-tech choice. All right, choice number two, write a poem. What kind of a poem? Any poem. It could be a narrative poem. It could be a haiku, although it's kind of hard to really get into a haiku with a dramatic effect. Um, let's, take the, let's leave the haiku off the table. It could be any kind of poem, okay? You can choose the meter. It could be an iambic pentameter. You could choose the rhyme scheme. It could be like, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Remember, Shakespeare's sonnets were A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. But it doesn't have to be. It could be free verse. What is free verse, Mrs. Hickey? Well, free verse means there's no rhyme to it. And sometimes no reason. But other than that, it's a poem that doesn't rhyme. And you may ask, how do you know it's a poem? That's a very good question. The questions that haunt me. All right, so choice number two is write a poem, and then you're going to recite it. I would like you to record it, but if you cannot record it for technology purposes, take a picture of yourself reading it to your family so that I will see the poem and I will see that you did in fact read it to your family and then you can self-reflect. But I would like you to record it. I would like to hear the poem uh, and your interpretation as you deliver it. But if you cannot, the alternative is take a picture of yourself reading it to your family. That's choice number two. Choice number three, write an original poem. Excuse me, original song rather. Write an original song. And the word original indicates that it has never been written before, ever. Okay? And so it is not something you find on the internet. It's something you find in your brain, in your heart. Okay? Straight from you, a song. Okay, and that particular choice, if you're going to choose that, you need to sing. You'll need to record and you'll need to send that to me. So don't pick that one unless you can record. All right, choice number four. You're going to learn 
a Broadway song and sing it. Okay, if you make a movie video, uh, you need to for sure be appropriate with your clothing and with the content of the song itself. Okay, and then if you're doing an audio, you still need to keep in mind the content itself. Keep it school appropriate. But a Broadway song, a Broadway song. Okay, not a song from the radio, unless they're playing Broadway. Okay, so it's a Broadway song. So those are your four choices. Now, if you have a question, think, do I have the answer to this question on Mrs. Hickey's video? And then watch the video again, and then think. And then ask away, because I will be on the other end of the keyboard. But do this first, okay? So, with four choices, how many choices are you going to pick? One. One singular sensation. One choice. I can't wait. Go inspire. <laughs>